Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about Network Load Balancer. Now it is supporting security groups also. As for the latest news, and moreover, the uh, UI GUI has been changed for this Network Load Balancer. Now we get the option for security groups. So I will show you like how we can utilize the security groups at the Network Load Balancer. So uh, if you want to get into like a, uh, like I have previous video for application load balancer also. So you can just have a like a quick review, like uh, what is the major differences between the load balancers, application load balancer and network load balancer. Uh, just a basic uh, about it, like uh, it is like a network load balancers worked at the layer three and the application works at the layer seven. So that is a basic difference and we can have path-based routing also in application load balancer. I will just put a link for my previous video so you can just watch that uh, application load balancer. So in this video, I'll be just showing you how the network load balancer works, whatever how the security groups feature has been added to its interface. So it supports, so we can, uh, the basically, when we talk about the security groups, security groups, we can have it at the instance level. So basically, suppose if we are having AC2 instance, in which we are having a web server. So we need to have uh, ports inbound rules being assigned like HTTP port 80 to open in order to have the traffic, inbound traffic. But uh, now, instead of defining those uh, rules at the instance level, like we can have a double layer of security at the instance level also, at the load balancer level also, you can define. So the network load balancer, it will accept that traffic and it will uh, filter or the based upon IP or such a port number, whatever you want, you can do it and forward to your application. So it helps to ensure that network load balancer only accept traffic from the trusted IPs basically. So whatever the range of IPs we will be defining, so it will be accepting traffic from that only. So it improves the control of you know, application security and all, and it also simplifies the operation because just at the load balancer level, you have to define those uh, policies, inbound policies. So if you want, uh, I have a link over here. I will just open the link. So you can see where this is latest news, like 10th of August, 2023. This uh, supported this security groups at the network load balancer. So if you, Go to this, this is a network load balancer. You can get into details. So incoming traffic across multiple targets, containers, IP address in one or more availability zone. It also monitors the health. So the basic things are saying like it monitors what the application load balancer as well as the network load balancer. They check the health checks of your registered targets. Then it routes the traffic accordingly. So I think once I show you this uh, demo for this network load balancer, you can have a clear idea about it. So let's, uh, so this thing, load balancer, listener, target groups, I have already discussed in my previous video, but then in this video also, I'll just show you just the basic. Now, before moving, let's start. Uh, we will create some EC2 instance. Let me go to the console, so EC2 instance. So I will launch two EC2 instances over here. Okay, so I will just put it over here. My EC1. Okay, so I will define over here my EC to instance, let's say my EC1, or just we can type my instance one. So here I'm just putting num number of instance two, later on we can rename it, no worries. And let it be Amazon Linux. And I already have a key pair over here, so I will choose my existing one. And you can see over here, it is creating a security group. By default, its name is launch wizard two. So let it create by default, SSH is allowed. Later on, we can define the inbound rules and we can test it how it will work. And here, once we go to the advanced details over here, we need to define some uh, user data in order to run our server. So here, 
Apache. We are going to run it. So just a demo page I will be running. And that's it. Okay, so we have now two instances over here. It is still running, so I'll just rename this one my instance two and save it. Okay. So in the meantime, we can just uh, go to the, we can test it if you want. We can just, uh, okay, let's, let's test it. Let's run first. Okay, it's running now. So we can just copy this one and we can type it over here, HTTP colon. Oops, I think I didn't copy full. I make mistakes somewhere. Ah, it's three dot, okay, that's not fine. So, but you can see I haven't defined in the security group the port number 80 HTTP, so it will it will not load anything. So if I go to the security over here, it's not loading. So you can see uh, there is inbound rules over here. So I'll just go to the security group launch wizard two. And I will just go inside this, uh, edit inbound rules, then add rule, TCP, uh, just a second. Okay port number 80 and from anywhere. Now if I refresh, you can see it's working. So this is how uh, our two instances are ready, but uh, we will use a load balancer. Now, if I go to this load balancers over here, you can see currently I don't have any load balancer. So I'll go to the create load balancer so you can see, I'll be choosing over here, a network load balancer. So let's click on create. So my NLB, it will be internet facing and IPv4. And this is the default VPC and I will choose three uh availability zones so you can see ip addresses are assigned by aws so i need not to worry about it then you can see by default this is a security group so we can add over here our launch wizard 2. so you can see i can choose this so this is what this was not present in the previous uh, interface now they have provided over here the define and you can see sec uh, set of firewall rules that control the traffic to your load balancer. So security groups and network load balancer can only be enabled at the time of creation by including at least one security group. So make it show if you want the security groups to be added at the instant, at the network load balancer level. So make it show while creation you need to add. Otherwise you won't be able to do that. So I'll just remove the default one. So I'm just keeping this launch wizard too. Now here, you can see over here TCP port 80. Now here target group I need to select. So there is no target group. So I'll just create quickly create a target group. So I will add both the EC2 instances to that particular target group. So target group name, my NLB TG, protocol TCP port 80, health checks, HTTP, 
and then if you go to the advanced over here so i'm just checking the healthy threshold let it be two unhealthy two times let it be five seconds interval at which it will check of individual targets let it be 10 you can customize and the success code and all you can customize this sense then next so these are the two instances i'm choosing both include as pending below so you can see it's being added so i'll just create the target group so once my target group is created i will just go back to my uh, load balancer refresh so you can see target group is shown over here and you can add some tags and all if you want and then create a load balancer it will take some time to populate so we have to wait for it and then later on instead of using this we will use the load balancer dns so this is the one it will take like uh, two to three minutes in order to provision this so you can see the state over here is still provisioning you can click on it and you can just see the security groups over here so if you check over here this is the same one that we have that is the launch with the two and already the port 80 has been open for the inbound rules so you can just change it over here or you can define some specific ip you can define yourself the inbound rules so at the network load balancer or itself it will be blocked or it will be allowed then it will hit your instance so like two layer protection you can have okay let me check let me check to the load balancer so this is our load balancer okay still it is provisioning i'll just copy this dns name and i'll just http colon to slash okay it's still not loading we will just wait for it So you can see the load balancer is now in active state. So I'll just copy this one, make it show you for the HTTP. Now you can see if I hit this one, so I'm getting from this instance, uh, that is 172, that is a, uh, a private one IP that is showing internal. Now if I open another tab and just I refresh, you can see 172, 31, 30. So if I keep on refreshing, so it is like one time it is picking other one and one time you can see it is changing over here so this is how you can have your uh, network load balancer set up moreover you can just go to the target groups you can see healthy state two are there and healthy zero Social targets, then these are options that we can have. We can have monitoring, we can have health checks defined over here. So these thresholds are being defined. So this is how you can have your network load balancer. So you, in order to check, you can see this is a 172.31.3042. So you can just go to your EC2 instance dashboard. And you can go to the instances over here. And you can just select this one. And you can see 172, 31, 27.190. No, I think and this is for the load balancer to shine. Okay. Where well, it is coming from internal. 
ओके लेट मी चेक फॉर अदर वन इट वाज देयर यू कैन सी थर्टी वन डॉट थर्टी डॉट फोर्टी टू ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन रन इट now in order to avoid any billing and all just first remove your uh load balancer delete your load balancer confirm and then you can just you can delete your target groups and then you can go to your just the clean up uh instances over here and you can select both of them and you can terminate so that was all all about like how we can have a network load balancer in the security group defined but make it sure whenever you're creating a network load balancer you have to choose any of the security group in order to attach that network load balancer otherwise later you cannot add it so i hope you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel